Hey everyone, I'm Freeze Engine and welcome to my top 3 loadouts for solo bounty hunting in Hunt Showdown. Before we get into the loadouts, just a quick reminder, I usually stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday at around 8 or 9 p.m. Central European time. And if you'd like, you can follow me on Instagram and or Twitter, links to those below, where I usually post a small heads up video so you know when to expect me going live. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the loadouts. Now just some of the basics, these loadouts I'm about to show you are not budget loadouts. I'd rather call them medium priced loadouts, um, which you can upgrade over time. And also some of the loadouts components are variable and therefore your spin on these loadouts might come out cheaper than my picks. So with that being said, tools and consumables are also interchangeable and can be adapted to your preferred playstyle. If you want to skip ahead of the video and see those loadouts in action right away, I've played those loadouts recently in a live stream, which you should be able to see right here or find here. You can just click on that live stream, watch it and get an idea of how I use those loadouts. Loadout number one. The first loadout on this list will be the crossbow uppercut combo or as I like to call it the near far wherever you are. <laughs> loadout. This loadout consists of, you guessed it, a crossbow and a cobble conversion uppercut. For tools and consumables, I picked my favorite ones, uh, which are a classic knife, med kit, and usually I take two types of trip mines, which are the alert and the concertina trip mines, and the load shot, also very important to me, and just regular firebomb, dynamite stick, and very, very important, a flash bomb. One of my favorite consumable in the game. Now, but what does this loadout especially uh, bring to the table? Well, the crossbow, once you've um, kind of adapted to its play style, um, is incredibly useful for example, close quarter fights, short medium range targets, and silently killing enemies and or sound traps all over the world. So with the crossbow covering one end of the spectrum, which is the short and short medium range, the uppercut picks up exactly where the crossbow left off. Because it can be used for medium and long range targets or long range shots, while also dealing huge amounts of damage to the body and having a long headshot kill range. Also, if you should miss your initial surprise shot with the crossbow, you can easily switch to your uppercut and dish out the intended punishment. Consumables like the flash bomb for me are a necessity when using weapons like the crossbow or for example a uh, Romero. So basically an everything that can one hit kill at a close range. If the uppercut is too slow for your kind of playstyle or you just don't like it for any other reason, uh, you can easily switch it out for any of the other revolvers um, like in the gun officer or a Caldwell Pax. Keep in mind though that this kind of negates the whole effect of being able to cover every range. Loadout number two. So the next loadout on my list is the Officer Carbine and Romero Hatchet combination, or as I'd like to call it, the fast and slow loadout. The Officer Carbine has an incredible speed. It ha It's really deadly at close to medium range. Uh, it has that two tap potential. Um, and also it has some very good handling and uh, recoil. Uh, also known as the head clicker, the Officer Carbine is a cheap alternative to all those Winfields, Vetterlees and even Mosins and can definitely compete with those other rifles um, that may deal more damage but are tougher in handling. Now pair this fast boy with a Romero hatchet and you have yourself another all range coverage. Uh, since the Romero hatchet is very useful in close range combat scenarios. Now you may ask yourself why the hatchet variant? Uh, well because if you are like me, you might not always hit your Romero shots. <laughs> With the hatchet, you can then easily at least try to quickly um, kill your opponent with a melee attack without having to switch to any other weapon or your regular knife or heavy knife. This swiftness can be cleverly combined with the use of a flash bomb to increase destruction to a maximum. 
One important thing that you have to consider when you want to run this loadout is to keep in mind to switch out your regular knife for knuckle dusters. This way you will still be able to deal with every damn NPC in the area trying to kill you. If you're not a fan of the trip mines you could also switch them out for some additional throwing knives for example, which helps you deal with sound traps silently. Loadout number 3 that I picked and also the last loadout for this video is the Silenced Windfield Officer Brawler combination or as I like to call it the AI Schreck. <laughs> now why do I call it the AI Schreck? Um, well let me tell you. Um, I paired the Silenced Windfield with Incendiary Ammo which swiftly deals with hives, armored and sound traps like horses or even like zombies that may come too close to you while playing silently. Pair this with the Officer Brawler which, like his counterpart the Officer Carbine, has some very good handling and fast rate of fire. Also those integrated knuckle dusters with the Brawler help you get rid of those pesky emulators that may want to ruin your day in the bayou. The only AI left to fear with this loadout might be water devils or meatheads. But even if you want to get rid of uh, meatheads for example, you're free to integrate a sticky bomb into your loadout which can one hit kill meatheads if you hit the right spot. Now what I really like about those loadouts is the fact that they are just that variable and adaptable to your own playstyle and they are upgradable. You can for example upgrade a weapon, uh, you can also upgrade the ammo types that you use and you can also upgrade the whole loadouts with uh, skills or traits. The best example would be the AI Schreck can be upgraded um, with levering, so you have an even faster wind field, which adds the benefit of being able to deal with close quarter scenarios just a bit better and be just that more deadly. You can also give the officer brawler some poison ammo if you don't mind shooting emulators and one-shotting them if you don't mind the noise. I just recently played all three of those loadouts in a live stream, which you should be able to check out somewhere up here. This way you can see those loadouts in action. I also added some footage in the background of this video which might give you some idea of how to use those loadouts. If you have any questions or any new ideas for loadouts please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to read your opinions on my picks here and I'd also like to be enlightened maybe with your favorite loadouts. Which one of those work for your playstyle? Which playstyle is your favorite? Tell me in the comments below, I'm very curious. Now I hope you could learn something from this video. I plan on doing more of those in-depth discussion videos for Hunt Showdown and if you'd like to see any specific topic covered by me just let me know in the comments and I'll try to tackle those. So thank you all for watching, if you like this video be sure to leave a like and maybe subscribe, it really helps out a lot. I'm Freeze Engine and I hope to see you next stream. See you! Xardas Für Xardas Macht bedeutet alles Du hast dich entschieden Für Xardas Xardas Für Xardas